from Alabama. Mr. Chairman, I yield myself. Of such time as I make concern. The gentleman is recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to introduce into the record uh, an article from the New York Times dated September the 30th, 1999. And here's what it says. Fannie Mae, the nation's biggest underwriter of home mortgages, has been under increasing pressure from the Clinton administration to expand mortgage loans among low and moderate income people. Fannie Mae has, and then they quote Franklin Raines, Fannie Mae has expanded home ownership for millions of families in the 1990s by reducing down payment payment, by reducing down payment requirements. Yet there remains too many borrowers whose credit is just below what our underwriting has required and who have been relegated to paying significantly higher mortgage rates. Well, I think we know the rest was history. They lowered their standards. They moved into this new risky form of lending. <clears throat> and then last July, the American people were submitted the bill. And that bill was a half a trillion dollars. And every day, we're adding billions of dollars to that tab. Now, today, and, and there were people at that time who warned that it was risky and uh, who warned that ultimately the taxpayers may have to step in and bail out Freddie and Fannie. Now today, we're being asked to adopt legislation, the Hope for Homeowners program, which would require FHA to insure loans with a greater risk of default and require a higher per loan taxpayer subsidy. In fact, the Congressional Budget Office says that this program is going to help 25,000 borrowers, but it's going to cost up to $579 billion. Now, coupled with the new projection that the hope for homeowners is going to only help 25,000 borrowers, that's $23 thousand dollars per borrower that you're going to ask the American people to pay or expose them to that risk. I'm going to give you the same warning that was given in 1999. It's the taxpayer that's going to have to take up the cost of this subsidy and this risk. And that's, for that reason, I'm not willing to burden the taxpayer with another dollar. These are terrible economic times. All taxpayers are under risk. Many taxpayers are facing loss of the job. At a time like this, an uncertain time like this, to further expose our, the taxpayers of this country, the American families we represent, to another half a trillion dollars worth of exposure is not something that I'm willing to do. Uh, I am willing, and I've said many times, I was willing to endorse the Kanzorski Castle provision, which would allow servicers with lenders and borrowers to work out terms, and I applaud that provision in the bill. Uh, you strip out this $23,000 per loan program, and we'll all go down and we'll vote for Castle Kanjorski. I reserve the balance of my time. And 